Hello, my name is Kevin Schoonmaker. Thank you for taking the time to meet the candidates for this important upcoming election. It has been my honor and privilege to serve the 6th Ward of Moline for the last 12 years. As a lifelong Quad City resident, I can say I love Moline and want what is best for all Moline residents. I am also proud to say I have four generations of family living in Moline, and I work hard for them as well as for all of you. As part of the council, I have been part of the team that has consistently delivered a balanced budget. Even with COVID, we were able to roll up our sleeves, dig in, and make the hard decisions to keep our budget in check. It wasn't easy, but unlike many of our neighboring cities, Moline ended 2020 without a deficit. This means we don't have to reach out to our residents for more taxes. We don't have to ask you for more of your money. Speaking of taxes, I have been a consistent advocate for lower property taxes while maintaining an excellent level of service. I am very pleased to let you know that I helped to guide policy that resulted in lowering Moline property tax rates each of the last four years. This actually puts money back in the pockets of residents, you. At the same time we cut taxes, we aggressively worked to reduce the city's debt. By taking advantage of economic opportunities and by being good stewards of the residents' money, we were able to reduce city debt from $52 million to $27 million, a huge reduction in debt. And our 2021 budget further reduces this debt an additional $5 million. This fiscal responsibility taken on by me and the city council sets Moline on the right course and prepares the city for upcoming opportunities. We have an amazing once in a lifetime opportunity just ahead. Your next city council will decide how to develop, manage, and fund the riverfront acres being vacated as the old I-74 bridge comes down. This opportunity should not be taken lightly. Moline has not only the unique opportunity, but the responsibility to ensure this area is developed for the use and enjoyment of our residents and future generations. I wanna say that I am very proud of what Moline has accomplished. I am excited for the upcoming opportunities that we have. As Moline's next Sixth Ward Alderman, I promise to keep the residents first, to continue to work to lower your property taxes, to maintain the highest level of fiscal responsibility, and to continue to prepare Moline for future opportunities. I have been proud to serve Moline's Sixth Ward and I would be honored to have the opportunity to serve you again. Thank you for your time. Hello, my name is Pat O'Brien and I'm running for the sixth ward in Moline, Illinois. And I'm running for several different reasons. I was on the city council years ago and we were able to do some great things for the people of Moline. A new uh, municipal building, uh, improvements to our water plant, and uh, several new uh, buildings that were much needed at the time. Uh, we upgraded our infrastructure projects, streets, sanitation, water. Those things were all greatly needed in the city, particularly alleys. I, had, I lived in the neighborhood where you, the only way you could get in the neighborhood was through the alley. And the street in front was bad too. So we did those. We were able to get some great things accomplished and one of the reasons I'm running is I have a fear that some of these uh, initiatives are going away. I think that when you privatize certain departments like uh, the legal department, uh, the, the firefighter paramedics, uh, that's an unacceptable result for the people of Moline. We've been able to get recruit uh, really good people to work in our departments and you will not have an effective uh, code enforcement with anything if you start privatizing uh, and going to private firms to do this. Sometimes you can do it, but most of the time you're 
that some of these jobs are just better to have in-house. For instance, a health inspector. I'm on the county board now. We have a health inspector on loan from the county board. Well, that's a short-term fix, but you definitely, we've, uh, I think of most of the, the restaurants on the Illinois side of the river, that a lot of them are Moline. We need a health inspector. Uh, that's a primary concern. Uh, other thing that happened years ago, and there's, these groups are still around, but I'd like to see more of them, are neighborhood groups like Overlook, um, uh, Stewartville. These, these were great neighborhoods. They improved the quality of life for folks that live in the neighborhood. And they, I think they drive down the police calls because when you're talking to your neighbor again, you can talk to them about issues. Uh, I used to have ward meetings. I was a pretty involved alderman when it came to ward meetings and talking to my people that live in my people that live in my ward and seeing what their concerns were. Uh, privatization is uh, shown its its face at, at the county board level. We lost our nursing home of 150 years. We've been in the care business for our elderly and folks that needed extended care. I fought to protect the nursing home and keep it. Uh, for some reason or other, our forebears could keep a nursing home for 150 years, but at the county level, we weren't able to keep it. My concern is the city is moving in that direction. I don't want to see that happen with the city of Moline. And another thing I'd like to see is more um, an inventory on, on vacant properties in Moline. If the property is viable to build a home on, we should make home. We should encourage folks to fix up older homes. And we should have more green space for our kids to, you know, we need, if this pandemic showed us anything, we need more recreation for our children outside in a close proximity to your neighborhood. And those are some of the things I, I'd like to see. I, I am concerned about, uh, I, a lot of things that have been going on with City Hall. I obviously think that staff has to be paid accountable. Uh, our tax dollars pay for pretty good salaries for these folks, but we also have to listen to them. If we hire them for their professionalism, then we kind of have to listen to what they have to say. So having said that, uh, I'm, I'm running for six ward alderman. Uh, my name is Pat O'Brien, and I would appreciate your vote on April 6th. Thank you.